Music's always been part of part of life, part of um, the family. I just remember that my uh, uncles and that, you know, Christmas time and stuff would pull out a guitar, they'd all jam, they'd be playing, you know. So I always wanted to to be part of that. That was just something that I'd always thought, wow, you know, I want to be that, so cool. We, my parents couldn't afford lessons or anything like that for me, so uh, I just sort of had to learn as I, as I went along. I got into... Uh, I was about seven or eight. I got into Kiss <laughs> at the time because that was the cool thing at the time. Then uh, around around the end of year 10, uh, I just decided I didn't want to continue school. I think I found a thing on piano tuning. Um, and I was like, oh, piano tuning, that's a bit, you know, boring or whatever. But it was music and it sort of said, must love music, must love working with your hands and, and that and so I was like, mate, this is the job for me because, you know, I'm kind of good at, you know, building things and stuff like that. And uh, I really love music. And then that's where I started at Park Pianos. Yeah. So my, my journey uh, with bands started again when I started working, started working at, at Music Park, um, you know, Park Pianos. I was young, impressionable and everything. Uh, I was about 17. At the time, there were a lot of people that were... Um, yeah, most of the guys there were in, in Christian bands. My dad would drop me off <laughs> with my keyboard in the car and I'd, I'd play. Uh, from that, uh, after after a while, that scene sort of died down. For about 10 years, I didn't really play until uh, Dave Thomas uh, was putting together a band. And I think I started out doing sound. Eventually, the keyboard player left and... Um, Dave asked if I wanted the gig. That was the band was called the High Beam, so that was actually pre mod squad. Then after that, Forky came along, um, and uh, Dave wanted to expand the band, and so we sort of came with the concept uh, of the the mod squad, and that became like quite well, a really popular band. Um, we ended up putting horn section. We were doing like even a scar. From from there, uh, I got married, and yeah, have a, have a family now, a small family, a daughter. Um, and at the time, I wanted to just focus more on on the studio. Uh, this place came came up for sale, and um, it's become was well, much less of a hobby now. I actually have to think like a business person as well because it's sort of what you, yeah, it's our bread and butter. Um, we've just put in a, a Dolby Atmos system. It's really popular now. I believe it's going to stick around because Apple are putting all of their research and, and releasing a lot of their stuff for it. We've just released an online mixing um, thing on our, on our um, website, a service. If a client comes to us, we'll generally start with a, with a meeting. You can kind of read where the client is um, as to what they're willing to accept. Oh, I found that they'll let you uh, change more the more they trust you and the more they hear what you've done is actually, you know, they, they, they're liking what you've done. Beautiful. That, Mate, that was awesome. Good.